Hello painters! Today I'm going to repeat an image I paint last year. This picture from here about pancakes is from May 2019. This was a breakfast I made and I painted in February 2020. I used Procreate to paint this, you can tell with the texture. And I am going to repeat it using a rage. Let's go! going to use a lime green maybe because this image is super warm this is like brown orange dark orange dark red color red only these leaves are green so and because I want to save time I am going to trace maybe with a dark blue for example using straight lines Ball shapes. But the strawberries, I really don't care if I'm not super accurate. I can see some leaves here and same as in the last painting. I am going to repeat this imaginary strawberry on the top. And then, if you focus here, the plate is more or less an, at the same height than the pancake, and I don't like that. So I am going to make the pancake a bit higher, a bit more thick, and the plate a bit lower. And I'm not going to draw this little detail from here because I am going to leave it for the end. But I do want to trace the shadows too. Do you see this? Let me erase. This way we have a nicer composition. Now I want to add the paint on another layer because I want to simulate that the sketch is done with acrylic so it won't mix. I'm going to start with the pancake. The basic rule here is picking each color but making it a bit lighter and sometimes more saturated, sometimes less saturated. So let's start with this brown. Let me make the brush bigger and this part from here is going to be darker and for that I am going to move to the reds and also a bit darker enough contrast right? if you focus here we have this bottom part here a bit lighter than the middle part and just a pinch and with this I can make some texture, but just a bit. The most texture is going to be in the front part because this is where the light is hitting. So the texture is visible here. This part is shadowed, so we see a lot less information here. And also with darker parts. This orange from here. And just below the lightest color here we have a saturated red. This is another way to add details without over detailing the piece. And now here we have the darkest part of the pancakes. This part from here but I don't want to use black so we are using reds. What can we use to make it contrast? Blues and not that dark. Maybe this color would be nice. And you already see this is the darkest part without using blacks. Okay, and the top part is going to be less chromatic because the light isn't hitting here. So how can we do this without adding gray? Adding the complementary colors, for example, we are using here let me grab the chromatic circle again. If we are painting red, browns, 
these colors from here to make them less saturated less chromatic we have to add the complementary colors we are going to avoid using greens because we don't want the food to look like it's moldy but we can use blues and violets so let's do this instead of using gray we are going to use some purple for example and some blue of course they have to be subtle and of course we have to stay close to the gray because if not they are going to stand out too much and we don't want that but it's going to be more chromatic still than adding some random grays some texture not much and it's okay let's make the shadow of the imaginary strawberry and now i am going to do the same in the other pancake but this is our main pancake so we don't want to detail the second one as much as the first one and again i am going to use this blue for this super dark part here in these super dark parts too and again here the first time I painted this, I was a bit afraid of the blacks. So if you can tell here, I just inserted another strawberry, <laughs> same as here. But this is just because I didn't want to use black. So now I don't have this fear. I am going to use just my tricks not to use black. And not because using black is bad, but I don't like using two dark colors in my paintings. I like to make them more chromatic. I prefer using this violet that will do as black, but this is exactly the same as in real life. For example, I'm using this violet as if it was a black paint, same as I would use this purple, this is the Vox purple. It's so intense that if you only use this paint straight from the tube in the painting it's going to look like black so this is exactly the same but in digital painting same as here if we use just a grayish brown to make the shadow this is just too similar and you wouldn't tell exactly where one thing starts on the other on the other ends Okay, and now I'm going to paint the chocolate. Now again the darks with blue. And the highlights too. For chocolate things, I like to use violet for highlights. Now a pinch of blue and that's it. Now I'm going to make the strawberries. Starting from the darkest. Let me see, not that saturated. Let's go violet here. Why violet? Let's pick the chromatic circle again. We are painting reds. So if we want to go darker, we can use violets, blues, something like that. And if we want to go lighter, we can use orange. That's what we are going to do here. So shadows with violets. And why violet? Because this way we are going to make the painting more interesting. Have you seen that we have used some violets here, some violets here, and now if we go to two violets again with the strawberries, the painting is going to look nicer. And now, yes, now we are going to switch to reds, making a transition. Rough. We don't want to make too much detail on this. So we started on violets and now we are switching to orange. We started on violets and we are switching to orange. This way the red objects will be more interesting. Look, this one is made from the violet to the orange. Imagine if we add here a pinkish tone, like if we were using the the same red but instead of going to orange adding some white do you see this 
at least for me, in my opinion, this looks like grey. It looks way less chromatic. And I don't like this. It's losing its intensity. It's losing the red's intensity. This is why instead of adding white, I just switch the chromatic, the hue. So with a bit of orange, we are going to add some transitions here. This is nice because we are copying from the reference these strawberries from here and because of that we are learning how strawberries are and we can repeat the same process here in this imaginary strawberry and this is so cool. And now I am going to give the strawberry texture. Now inside of these pops, the seeds. You don't have to make every one of them super detailed. You can use the cheerleader effect here. I am going to link it down below. And for this, you only need to detail some of these. And the rest, just being sketchy, our mind is going to interpret them as if they weren't. This is a nice trick, not to over detail the painting. And now the last part here is the highlights. These are cool highlights. These are like pinkish, bluish. Instead of using just violet, why not pure blue? The coolest blue. Just copying where the highlights are. And same here. We can imagine and some white. And now the rest, instead of just repeating the same blue, we are going to use less chromatic blue. We are going to do maybe this one. And now before making the leaves, we are going to do the background and the plate because I want to cover the green. If I do the greens now, the leaves now, I won't have anything to contrast with. So I will use Example. Why blue? Because everything is warm and this way the reds are going to pop even more. Of course you can do any color you want. I try not to use this knife from here and instead I like to make the transitions just with colors just a personal taste and maybe we have here a wooden table so we need less chromatic colors from the back part maybe lighter just a sketchy because this part is on the background and in the front it has to be super chromatic and of course we need an imaginary shadow You can imagine if the light goes this way, the shadow just would go. And now the plate. The plate is white, so you can put it the color you want. My general rule is making this part from here that are in shadow in any cool tones, for example, blue, blue, violet, greens, and this part from here that are in light, because remember that light is hitting from this direction. These parts are going to be yellow ochre. And this violet is because we have here a nice red reflection from the strawberries that we are going to paint. But not red, just saddle here again. And here we have the shadow of the plate that is going to be some turquoise in this part we have light and in this part two and for the backgrounds why I don't like using just another layer for example imagine we are painting this gray and make it everything and then paint on top 
because look if you see here we can we can see the texture of the layer that is below through the layer that is on top for example let me do this again here do you see this and I don't like watching the texture below because this is not going to define my volumes I don't like this straight texture that you can see from below so I prefer doing it in the same layer and just cut the shapes and correct the edge as you go and now for the leaves I'm going to use again green but blue for the shadows yellow for the lights this green maybe is too green too gray I want to start to with the shadows instead of using this sub green from here I am going to use some blue yep Again, trust in the cheerleader effect because you don't need to make it super detailed. And one thing we don't have to forget is this reddish tone we have here reflected on the leaf. Now for the finishing parts, maybe we have here some... I don't know part of the plate reflecting in the... maybe we can add here some yellow to make it contrast a bit more we can add another layer to add some airbrush here and with some pure white as always I think I prefer them vertical maybe some here and I think I am going to paint the plate detail some blue coming from here Let me add some fun like if the background was eating the the painting because you can see we have a lot of teal a lot of violet everywhere so I am going to just make some final fun lines and with the violet to until you think you are ruining the painting and then you stop so this is it fun aspects of this painting we have some nice violets making this part less hydrated we have a rainbow <laughs> rainbowish white plate we have some nice blue highlights for the chocolate part and the berries we have a nice background, more intense and more chromatic than this one. And we added a new strawberry. So this is our before and this is our after. This is February 2020 and this is August, almost September 2021. What do I prefer? <laughs> I think I prefer this one. No, I prefer this one because it's more detailed. You can see the leaves clearly. There are not only uh, bra random brush strokes here you almost cannot see what's this <laughs> but this is another style I like this too I don't know this feels more oily more traditional this feels more digital this feels more illustration and this feels more painting I don't know what do you think let me know in the comments oh 
and I will link this amazing color wheel in the description down below. I hope to see you in the next video. It will be an oil painting instead of digital. And I hope you have enjoyed this one. Bye bye!